Connor's not here yet. And Khabib said he's not going to wait. He wants to start the press conference without him. Does anybody in the media have a question for Khabib? I don't yeah. know if my crew is ready. Let's get some mics down here, you guys. Let's go. Good. All right. Well, Habib, let's, let's ask how you feel about this. I mean, you're here at a press conference by yourself. Uh, give me an idea what, what the emotion is like for you having to be here by yourself and no comment. Yeah. I no need to wait for nobody. This is 3 p.m. Friends is here, media is here, everybody is here. Done a little bit late, late it's okay, but 3 p.m. I begin. If you guys have question, let's go. for you. Massive fight, biggest fight of all time in UFC history. Let me ask you, what do you think this does for your career? What comes next? What do you see? You know, we saw Connor get two belts. We've seen people go weight classes. What do you do after the biggest fight in UFC history? Uh, honestly, I don't know because um, I'm not underestimate this guy, you know. I'm preparing, my weight is good, tonight I have to make weight and uh, it's like after tomorrow, after tomorrow, I'm focused on after tomorrow, after we will see, we're gonna talk after this fight. If, if, Dana, if, Dana, if I could just quickly for you, I mean what's your emotion right now, the biggest star in the sport, all these people wanting to see Connor, and he's not here, what's your take on that? Listen man, I'm excited. I can't wait for the weigh-ins. I can't wait for the fight. And uh, Connor's in a car right now. He's on his way here, so he'll be here in a few minutes. But yeah, I'm excited. So far, so good. Everything's been perfect, and I'm ready for the fight, man. And, and David, just lastly for you, I mean, between the main and the co-main, huge fights at lightweight, right? I mean, the future of the division looks exciting, but we still got that Dustin and Nate fight out there that we're wondering what's up with that, because that would seem to factor into a future title shot as well. Can you give us any updates? Is that fight happening? Is it, yeah, is it I mean, a main event? We're still working on New York, and uh, yeah, as far as I know right now, that fight's happening. Yeah. Could, could that be a main event? I saw you on Instagram. Tell Not the main event. All right. Connor, Khabib, Connor always tries different things to get inside your head. Are you surprised that he's not here, or were you expecting something like this? About, if you talk about ego inside my head, we're gonna see Saturday night, we're gonna see this. Are you surprised that he's not here, or were you expecting this? No, I don't think about him, you know, I have a schedule, I have a schedule, 3 p.m. this company has to begin because I have schedule, I have to make weight, I have to worry about myself, why I have to think about him, he come or not, if somebody late, this is not my problem. Brooklyn happened six months ago, almost exactly six months ago, are you still angry about what happened then? Little bit. If I say no, this is not true. Little bit, of course, I'm angry, a little bit emotional, but my my job, when I go to the cage, I have to control my emotional, I have to stay relaxed, but keep going and mold this guy. Does the anger help you? Sometimes this happens. Sometimes this helps you, sometimes it's not, but most important, stay relaxed when you go to the cage. This is most important. Khabib, so Скажи, пожалуйста, после боя, если Конор протянет тебе руку, ты пожмешь ее? Нет. Кабиб, down here to your left. Um, back in New York a few weeks ago, Conor said a few things about your teammates, your family, your fellow countrymen. Is Conor safe going to Russia these days? Sorry, man. Sorry, one more again. Sorry, man. Go ahead. Connor said a lot of things about your fellow countrymen and your family. Is he safe going to Russia these days? Ah, uh, 
He can say whatever he want. When alcoholic someone drunk guy talk, nobody cares about him. We just leave him alone, ignore him, and when we go to the cage, we will see who's gonna talk. Just lastly, the, the wake up. We know it's always difficult. How much have you got left to cut, to cut tonight, and how much are you weighing right now? Hey, weight because it's all, always is hard. Always is hard. Thursday, this is my weight cut day. And, you know, that's why I don't want to be wait for someone 30 minutes, 40 minutes. That's why 3 p.m. press conference. After press conference, I have to go home and focus on my weight cut. Habib, question for you. Win or lose, will you shake Connor's hand after the fight? Win or lose, will you shake Connor's hand after the fight? I'm gonna shake his hand? After the fight, win or lose, no. will you? No way. No way. Why not? Because... Uh, Khabib, over here, uh, I know you're on a strict schedule. How much time are you gonna wait for Connor to get here? Do you have to leave after a set period of time? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. We will see. Maybe two minutes, maybe 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know guys before I leave. Tony Ferguson was at the media day today and he brought his belt. He believes he's the real champion. What's your response to that? Hey, you have to believe. You have to believe. When you fight like this high level fight, you know, you have to believe you're the champ. Nobody can beat you. It's okay. I'm okay about this. But I'm not okay about when Dana say, where's Colonel Belt? I'm not okay about this because Dana already know where is Colonel Bates. Max Solomon, Khabib Nurmagomedov. He have to know, but you know, he bring with him belts, like believe himself. It's okay. I'm okay, okay about this. And but tell this guy, hey, he lose his belts. He lose his mind. Two years he didn't fight in UFC. Last question, I know there's some rumors around a 165 belt being introduced one day. Would you be interested in fighting for a 165 pound title? It's absolutely not. I like this weight. I like this weight. Why not 165, 175 or 170? Like, I think in the future UFC is going to do this weight. Like, right now I don't know and I don't think about this weight too, you know, because after tomorrow I have Biggest fight in UFC history, and I'm more focused on this fight. Khabib, when you sit down and visualize Saturday night, what do you envision happening in the octagon? How I see the fight is going? I think, uh, like, beginning of the first round, I have to be careful with him because he has good timing, good boxing, you know. And uh, But my wrestling is my pressure. My wrestling is my pressure. He has to kill me for stopping, you know. Inshallah, I'm gonna stop this guy, I'm gonna finish this guy, this is my plan. Khabib, Khabib over here Khabib, to your right, Dana. Um, given what's happened in the build-up to this, and in New York, and the way you've been with each other, the discussion of Islam, the whiskey last week, has this become bigger than just a fight in a steel cage on a Saturday night? Ed, honestly, this is, for me, this is more than defend my title. For me, it's more than fight for the title, more than main event. You know, for me, it's personal. Honestly, for me, it's personal. And, uh, of course, this is biggest fight in UFC history, and we're gonna broke this record. Numbers already talk about this, and, you know, for me, it's personal. Finally, do you believe that the way Conor McGregor behaves, not turning up on time, disrespects you as the champion of the sport. I don't care about this. I don't care about this. You know, most important, this is believe myself. This is most important. I don't care about someone believe me or not. You know, this is, I don't care. Habib. You said before that you're gonna give him 25 minutes in jail inside the octagon. Do you still feel the same way? Is the fight going to decision? Maybe, maybe, maybe decision. Maybe I'm gonna finish him, you know. But all the time when he tired, he, he give up. 
this is all the time. Like before fights, he, he talked like, I'm ready for this, I'm ready for this. When you fight with Diaz, when you fight with Mayweather, like, but when you tired, it, you give up all the time. Khabib, over here to your left. How do you think your level of hunger in this fight compares to Connor's? Go, say that again, honey. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. How do you think your level of hunger compares to Connor's? Sorry about this because, like, I don't hear. Uh, of course, I believe myself. Of course. How I come here if I don't believe myself? I am UFC champion, undefeated, undisputed. If you don't believe yourself, how you can take this? You know. And I believe God first, and after I believe myself. You know. You know why I'm here? Because God helped me. That's why I'm here. Do you think you want? Now that Connor has money and fame, who's hungrier? We'll see. Saturday night I'm gonna show this. Saturday night, all question is gonna be answered Saturday night. Please wait, two more days. And Dana, for you, you had expressed in the past concern that McGregor may not be hungry because he made all that money and has all that fame now that this fight has been made. What do you think about his hunger? That McGregor might what? You didn't know if he would take another fight because he made a ton of money and already accomplished what he had wanted. What do you think about his level of hunger? Now? Yeah, no, basically what I said is when a guy makes a hundred million dollars, you don't know if he's ever going to fight again. Um, you know, Connor made a lot of money and, and he went, and I'm sure he had a lot of fun and did what he wanted to do. And, you know, there, no matter how much money you make, you can only sit home for so long and you start to go crazy. And this, you can tell this guy is passionate about fighting. He loves it. He loves breaking records. And he obviously loves making money. So uh, he's back. Just quickly, Khabib, what do you think of the crowd here? Because they've been very loud leading into this fight. Does it affect you at all dealing with the booze? How has it affected you mentally? Am I surprised there's no more Russian fans here? Hey, I love these fans, you know. Because without this fan, this event is not, not happening, you know. And uh, thank you so much, guys. They come here, buy tickets, buy tickets, I plan. They come, you know, like, without fans, it's nothing happening. Thank you so much. And these guys give me motivation, you know. It's okay. They have to, they have to uh, support this guy. I'm okay about this. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys, 15 minutes. 15 minutes I'm here, this guy didn't come, this is big disrespect and thank you so much, tomorrow 9 a.m. I'm gonna show you my way and see you tomorrow guys, have a good night. This is awkward. Dana, we got a question for you. All right. In the center in the back, straight ahead. Hey, what's up, Kev? Can you uh, give an update? You said yesterday the pay-per-view was tracking. Can you give us any updates? Has it changed since yesterday? It's crazy. The, the, the tracking, all the numbers are tracking higher than Mayweather McGregor. And, you know, th this, is a, this fight is a global fight. The whole world literally will be watching this fight. So, I don't know, man. It's huge. It's massive. I don't, obviously don't want to come out and say we're going to do Mayweather-McGregor numbers, but uh, we, we could possibly do Mayweather-McGregor numbers. How does this, you leaving, us not getting, you know, stared at today, how does this affect the final days building up to this fight? It doesn't. You know, obviously this wasn't the plan today, and, you know, this is, uh, you know, this shit happens, so. They'll, they'll both be at the weigh-ins tomorrow on time. And we'll get the stare down tomorrow when it matters, when the fight's actually gonna... To be honest with you, I prefer that anyway. Tomorrow, we saw the stare down in New York. I want to see the stare down tomorrow. That's that's the one I'm, I'm interested in. And just going back to what you said earlier, 
about 165. Why are you so adamantly against adding a one? It's never been talked about. It's it's, it's fake news. So no, just just the concept of it. Why do you not like it? I don't like anything about it. It depletes the 55 pound division, and all the guys that can't win titles at 55 or 70 are going to run to 65 and try to win a title. Dana, the, the press conference is uh, the press conference is always a, a good way to, to, I guess, people to satiate their appetite for a fight like this. Are you disappointed with how things have turned out here? Uh, li listen, this shit happens. Like I said, we had a press conference in New York. This one was, you know, not what we planned, not how we planned it to go down. But at the end of the day, you know. Like I always say about McGregor, with, with, the, with the mental warfare games that go on and all the things that are said, there's a counter to it right there. I'm here on time. I did. I spoke to the media. I'm out of here. So I'm not going to play your game and wait for you. And uh, you know, this is all part. This is all part of the all part of the shit that goes on leading up to the fight. This is a contractual obligation for, for Conor to be here. We've seen what happened in the past with Diaz not showing up to a con, uh, conference. Is there, are there any consequences for ending of this major? Is what? Consequences? Dana. Jim Greeshaber, cage side seat. Um, you said from the beginning when you guys came in that this is a global sport. You can go anywhere in the world and people love to watch two guys fight. Is this literally what you had in mind? A guy from Ireland and a guy from Dagestan? The biggest fight in UFC history. I mean, this is what you planned for all along and what you said was coming. How does it feel now that you're here with a fight like this? Yeah, I've talked to many people about that this week. You know, as you continue to grow the sport and, and, and you know, go into all these different countries and find new talent, and as uh, technology continues to get better with OTT and literally the world can tune in and watch a fight uh, together. So yeah, we're there. We're, this is just the beginning of, of getting to that place that I used to talk about. And you're a big boxing guy. Do you think now Connor is the biggest sell in combat sports? Is he the biggest star with this fight coming in, coming back, and what he did against Mayweather? Mayweather had a couple fights around 500,000 buys, and then he fights Pacquiao and Connor. But is it safe to say Connor's the biggest star in the world in combat sports now? 100%. And, and if you look at what he's done, you, you think about this. When you talk about Floyd Mayweather's numbers, Floyd Mayweather's been fighting for 20 years. Conor McGregor has not been around for 20 years, and he's been pulling big numbers, you know, pretty much right after he got in here. So the answer to that is absolutely. Absolutely. Dana, I want to ask you if you have any updates about John Jones, any opponents in mind, anything you can tell us, and also what do you think about the Insada deal that he did? No, John Jones isn't in shape yet. John Jones hasn't trained, hasn't got ready, so he's got to get into camp before we can even think about when he's going to fight. I'd like to see him fight at the end of the year or the beginning of next year, but we'll see. And, and what was the last question you asked? About, what do you think about the Insada deal that he, that he had, the whole, I guess, snitching thing? What do I think about the Usada thing? Usada? The Usada yeah. deal that he, that he, I guess, 